Yo, what is going on guys? Gonna be showing you a nasty high win rate kindred build. And that is gonna be abusing Divine Sunder and Wits N. Even though Divine Sunder got a little nerf, its win rate on Kindred is still absolutely absurd. It also gives you 400 health, which is great for tanking. It's also great for stalling out your R before you have to R. Uh, so yeah, Divine Sunder, awesome, amazing item. Wits N makes you tanky as well. So you kind of get two tank, two damage items and you can just do whatever you want. Rubbing against an Eve this game, normally on Kindred, you do want to start more on your red side and just kind of skip wraps and golems in your first clear if you can, because they take a while for her. You don't usually want to do wraps or golems till you're level three, so. Your W, you want to place it to where you're going, kind of like this, but it's also attacking the monster at the start, so you can kite with it. This leash is actually pretty good, because Caitlyn headshot. If you're not getting a leash, it's more important your W placement. Since I got a leash, it didn't really matter. I could just set it there in the middle. Now we're going to cross over with our Q. Everyone started with bot side. She probably got a big leash from Maokai. Uh, all three can't invade her. I'll run into her R and we'll pick up the kill. Evelyn did get a buff on her R, but she's still very beatable, especially if you pressure her early. You want a Q inside of your W to get your uh, Q cooldown back. Puts it on a much lower cooldown. And we'll be going over there shortly. With Kindred, you can go over Dragon and Baron Walls and put a lot of pressure. Kindred's generally considered a vertical jungler because she does have the option to jungle vertical like this instead of horizontal. So we're gonna hug the wall, get over. We got our mark on the Evelyn. We'll go ahead and hit a potion. I'm gonna hop over, flip on Sweeper. She's not here quite yet. She's kind of farming really bad, honestly. <laughs> she messed up her Raptor. I've done that before, but damn, she's wasting my time. I'm gonna W out. I'm gonna auto her while she's tanking this. Get my E on her. I'm gonna flash with her. We're gonna auto attack Q. We need to hold auto. There we go, she's dead. I don't know what this guy's health looks like. Not really sure. I'm gonna hold on to my E. If you don't know where the enemy is, you really need to save your E to fight them. I smited it early because I wanted uh Yeah, he's being annoying. He nearly just killed himself there. If I wasn't already missing a chunk of health, I would have like, trashed him there. This should have probably followed or done a little more. It's all right. As long as you're not dying, you're good to go. Oh, we'll cross back through mid. As long as they're healthy, you don't need to back on her. I think Evelyn's probably going to be there. We're going to hop over the wall. Oh, we didn't get an assist for it. That's all right. We want to help him shove wave because his wave's already pushing really hard and we want to like reset it against the turret. So that's a really nice reset. I'm going to go for the double scuttle. I don't have bot prio. I think I can get it though. Your smite will take off its uh, shield. So if you do have smite, it makes it really fast to take on Kindred. Otherwise, scuttles are kind of inefficient to take. I don't need bot lane shoving. I could probably do something here. Trindomir is... Gonna make this game really hard, <laughs> honestly. Alright, we got a kill and got the other one. You don't always want to E first. If the enemies are full health, and if you're the only one hitting them and you don't have that much damage, like there. I didn't E early because it's an execute. The lower they are on health, the more damage it does, so. I kind of tore Jin up with a few autos and a Q first inside of my W. And then after like one Q and a couple autos, then I E'd. Okay, we have three out of five KP, pretty good as a jungler. You want to always try to have 50% or more. So this is my team has five kills. We have uh, our three, three out of five, pretty decent. We're going to be going Divine Sunderer since we're pretty far ahead. 
Uh, I'll just get tier two boots rush and then I'll build into my divine. If you're really far ahead on Kindred or Graves or Twitch jungle, you want to go tier two boots. There's a lot of junglers like even Hecarim, they'll rush Lucidity boots. It makes your ganks better. Lucidity boots speed up your clear and for auto attack based junglers, obviously Berserkers speed up your clear. Red buff up in 50, we'll path into that. We don't want to help Trindamir, he solo lost his lane. And Darius has a plated steel cap, so it's going to be really hard to do any damage to him with just Berserker Greaves. And if Darius lands a double Q tipper, he's going to get a double kill on us. Got it. Fizz got a kill. I'll path. Yeah, Evelyn just took it. You see how my mark disappeared on the Raptors? That means she just took that camp. Like within like the last five seconds. And that's why you see her mid right now. Something you should know. Level six. Her blue buff's coming up. We'll go kill her. Fizz really shouldn't back. He should try to stay. She's on her blue. Oh, dude, I don't know where that guy went. That like, didn't path into his blue. Whatever. Guess he probably went for a top side or something. We'll go bot. Come from behind. Always come from behind. So we can get behind him. I eat him early this time because I want to be able to get to him. Oh, I almost got him. I was going for the double. My R placement, I might have used my R a little soon. If I could have pushed it up a little bit farther, I could have finished Jin, and then timed the turret shot and hopped out. I got a little overzealous there. We'll go for the phage. Uh, yeah, we'll grab, actually. Yeah, we'll go for the Sheen instead. Mick Clone Star, thank you for the sub, man. Welcome to the stream. Trindamir's still struggling. Luckily, Darius isn't farming the best, so I don't know how much that's going to matter. We want to play along the same track, so Evelyn's red buff, it's great. That's 50 seconds or less. We'll try to be there again. Darius has tier 2. He's going to be really hard to fight if Trindamir's not here. I don't want to use my W because I'm about to gank the Darius. You really want to have all three abilities for your ganks. You don't gank level two on this champ. His Q's on cooldown. We're going to QW in, hit him with the E, dodge his hook, and we get the kill. You want to go conquer on Kindred right now and overpress the attack. It makes your ganks a little weaker, but it's way better for scaling and for fighting to the death with people. Looks like they just took Dragon. That's free red buff. Three red buff. I'll take that. Yep, she's going bot. Q's back up. We're gonna go ahead and use that every time it's back up, pretty much. I'm gonna swap my mark to Darius. I think we're about to kill him here in a second. Whenever you're top laner and you're coming back to land, you always want to check this bush. Because the enemy jungler a lot of times will wait for you. They'll farm this since golem takes a while to take and then they'll just kill you. This Darius probably isn't even paying attention. We're going to WQ. Auto attack E. We're going to hit him with our red smite. We get the kill. Trendemir gets it. Don't really know where Evelyn is. It doesn't matter that much. I could fight her as long as I'm healthy. She has one death. She's probably near that raptor camp right about now. They already know I'm topside, so I gotta be a little bit careful. She could have been possibly invaded my jungle when she saw I had her red buff. Alright, here she is. We're 
I'm gonna Q into him. He's dead. You can go over any thin or small wall. You should go and practice tool and figure out which walls you can and can't go over. You need to be to, you need to be able to go over these raptor ones right there. If you can't, you're gonna die a lot more than you should. But yeah, these thin walls are your best friends. You can fight on them, Q over constantly. Put my mark back on the Eve. We are up in Sia since we've been invading her. Kendra's not the fastest farmer in the world like a Kane or a Karthus. But if you are invading them and making them lose at camps here and there, you'll have more CS generally. We're not going to be able to get her. Yeah, she's out of here. I'm just going to go ahead and smile since they know I'm here. That Jin R was kind of oof. I don't really want Eve to charm me. Once her Eve charm ended, like they're all gonna die now. We're gonna queue in, get down autos. Should have probably kept going there. This guy can't be here, he's way out of line. We're gonna hop over this wall, W. We have him cut off, he has nowhere to go. We get our E down, Q, auto into him, he's dead. We'll wait to hop over this wall. I think it's a little faster. Actually, I'll take our blue buff. There's nothing to really take over here. Oh, shit. Yeah, I'll just back. <laughs> I don't want to mess with Darius. I don't want to jump over the wall because he could go there. So I'm going to make him come to me. We have full Divine Sunder. We're going to go to Wit's End. Wit's End got a tiny, 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 tiny nerf. Divine Sunder got a tiny, tiny, tiny nerf. That's why they're still both ridiculously good on Kindred. And that's why they're two of the best items to go when you're going Conquer on her, because they keep you alive. So you're fighting with 12 stacks. It's really strong. Once you're bigger, you don't even really need to use your E on your camps, or at least not on Raptors or Wolves, maybe on Gromp or the Buffs. Making sure she's not on Herald. Don't want her to get that. Go ahead and max your W second. I don't have my mark ready for Darius. Got her E down. I don't want to chase him in the bush because he's pretty big. I'm gonna break his ward and path to my blue. Maybe go help Fizz. He's probably about to get ganked. Looking on the map, that's everyone's easiest gank right now. And she was last seen top, so. Oh, there she is. We'll take her red buff again here in 45 seconds. And a Q hop over. Ashkin's gonna die again. I'm not even gonna mark him. I, I'll just leave it on Eve. Oh. Yeah, I see him. Oh, yeah. I don't think he ran the right way on that one. I guess I should have marked him in the end. I thought I was going to kill him way faster to where the... When you mark someone, it takes like... Close to eight seconds for it to materialize. So if I mark someone and kill him in two seconds, I'm not going to get it. If that makes sense. And once you're in combat, you can't change your mark. Like, while you're in the middle fighting somebody. I'll change it to Darius. Don't really know where this guy's at. We got our four marks. That's your big power spike. Waiting for him to show up. He's just not coming over here. Oh, he's bot side. What the heck? Why is he over there? I was waiting for him to come back to his turret, but he just never came. Just, we gotta stay alive and not blow our shutdown. As long as we don't let Evelyn charm us, we shouldn't really die.
Damn, I just can't kill him. He's got too much armor and I messed up my E timing. A lot of the times when you're dealing with Kindred R, you can pinch the kill. If you put two marks of them with your E and then rides your R in, you finish proccing it. I proc my E like a half a second too early though to where it actually did zero damage to Darius. When you're side Kindred R, you, you get down to your 10% health and then you can't get it any lower. So I kind of wasted it, my bad. Unfortunate, I shouldn't be playing around this uh, Trindomir at all. It's one of the biggest mistakes you can make is even if you're ahead, if one of your teammates is super far behind, you generally just need to stay away from them because they'll get you killed a lot, like what happened there. You just completely left, didn't use his R, didn't help. Just kind of left. We have our wits end now. I'm gonna put my mark on uh, Evelyn. We could easily kill her. Darius is it's a bit harder, I need teammates. Stacked so much armor. I'm not even close to that. That was a weird time to Fizzar. This must be warded. They're all running away. I'm dead though. There's too many of them. He just brought back Maokai as well. We're dying a little bit too much. At this point against their team, Blade of the Rune King would be really nice. We don't really have any crits, so we wouldn't want to go IE. Probably just go Bork or Collector against them. I'll go Collector. We're gonna have to start fighting for dragons. Evelyn shouldn't be an issue because we have more CS, more kills. The biggest thing is just that Darius is really, really big. If we could get over to the sidewall, we could have escaped. We just didn't really have time. I'll lay my Herald mid and then we'll just use our teammates as bait. They're not really uh, wanting to group too much right now. Just got my mark on him. I marked him right as I saw him going in for that fight. Trying to remember that was a good R. Got the Gary super low. I just did half her health with like two autos. Got her R out, I'm still pretty healthy. I'm trying to queue into him and not let him land that. Still got the kill, got full conk stacks. I'm gonna have the R. Cut it back. Nice. That's why you take Conquer on Kindred, guys. When you have these really scrappy R fights, you can kill everybody. Really, really strong. Just make sure you try to get everyone as low as you can in your R. Don't focus the same person in the R, even after you get them down to the lowest health possible. There's no point. We gotta get out. I use my Q for attack speed. Your Q is a dash and attack speed. Your R is just free damage and your Q inside of it makes your uh, Q a much lower cooldown. I need this blue buff. I'm gonna hold on to my E. Like I said, if you don't know where the enemies are, you kinda need it. You're dead, Evelyn. This champ is stronger than yours, I'm afraid. Jump out of his Q range. He can't do anything. There's, he just actually can't. Kindred's Q is really good against Darius. Every time he goes to a Q, you just Q and then he can't get you. You either Q into him, or if he, if he can barely get to you, then you Q away. You can Q over the little wall corners too.
probably wrap it up here. I'm just gonna jump back. She can't get to me. That's why I don't like to play Evelyn these days, guys. Because all they need is one mobility, one magic resist item, anything, and you just can't kill them. She has her R. She's trying to R me there, but she just can't get to me. Yep. Divine Sunder at wit's end, guys. It's 1v9 material. It's so strong. All I have is two items. I'm sitting on 6k gold, and look how much damage I did. Just two items. Everyone on their team has two items already, or one and a half. It's just gross. If you guys enjoyed this hyper carried kindred guide for beginners, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Kingsticks. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you guys next time.